What's up guys, welcome to an industrial tutorial. Today I will show you how to make a steam turbine power. Alright, so let's begin. I would recommend using water pump too since it produces lots of water. It's better than every other way than the default one. I like to power it with two wind turbines. Like this. Alright, the next step is I would recommend using geothermal wells because they don't cause pollution and you don't have to do deal with the headache of making coal drills. You'll need two of these. It does use a little bit of a little bit more space, but it's, it's worth it. So now we just connect it. I would recommend using level 2 pipes since they're a lot faster. Okay, let's connect these. It doesn't really matter which pipe you use. I like to make it neat and organized, so I like to use turns. Let's connect these. These. Never mind. Let's go there. There. Alright, the next step is a, a boiler. This is one of the trickiest parts that people don't get. So just plug, this is the input for hot water, which these ther geothermal wells make hot water. Put it in. You could use, if you're rich, you could use pipe intersections food pipes intersections and stuff to s to easily go here and here but it's it's expensive 10k it's not worth it to make the power is the turb large turbine. I recommend using these level 2's because level 1 does not produce as much power. And it's a lot more. And it costs pollution too. Which is not good. In another video I'll go I'll talk about pollution basically just makes your obscures your vision connect it to the steam turbine make sure that all the connections are connected This outputs water. You could sell it, but it's just a waste of space, and you don't really get that much. And if you dump it, you don't get any pollution since it's water. So that's an up. Water's not coming. Oh, it is. Let's see if it's working. Check one more time. Where is the water coming from?
Make sure to connect these to the pipes. And the boiler is rising in temperature, so that's good. When it reaches 100 Celsius, it will produce steam and power this. Let's get a battery. You could use any battery. It produces lots of power, so I would recommend the NV batteries. You'll know it's working when you hear it making sound like this. The faster it spins, the more power it's getting outputting. See how much power it's making. A lot of power. And to harness the full potential, you could add a couple more since these dirt thermal wells are handling the water pretty good. So you can make this output even more power if you make a couple more. Alright. That's how to make a steam turbine power generator. See you later.